All right, what's up everybody? Uh, Daniel here, and I'm out working in the field today. This is a completely unplanned video, but I wanted to show you guys this because it's one of the unique circumstances where um, this house is empty, everything's gone, so I don't have to worry about you know talking to customers or anything like that. I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Um, but this here is a very serious, very severe German cockroach infestation. What I'm going to be showing you is like how bad these German cockroaches can get. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how I treat them. I'm not gonna do the full treatment. Uh, it's really hard to videotape me treating, you know, with one hand, because I need two hands to move things around, stuff like that. This is as bad as it gets, especially for an empty house. This is the front door. Actually, before I even opened the door, I looked down and I saw cockroaches in the doorway just walking around outside the building. They're not even inside. They're, they're so bad, they've just decided to completely leave the building. This goes for almost all insect populations, but they start out near their food source, right? So they wanna be near water, food, shelter. As the population grows, they, they don't like being super cramped, kind of like humans. Like I don't wanna live with like 20 people in one house. So they just start to like, venture on to new areas, you know, they leave the house, they're like, all right, well, I'm gonna find my new house, so I'm gonna leave. So there are so many cockroaches in here that they have decided that this house doesn't even have enough hiding spots for them, and they're gonna start going outside. Another thing, as soon as you walk in, when you've been in pest control for a few years, you can walk into a house, and there's just that German cockroach smell. And it's mostly just musty, uh, it's hard to explain it, but it smells like shit in here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys around a little bit. So this is the front foyer. It's a really big house actually. So this way there's a bedroom, living room that way, bedroom, and then this is the kitchen. So they always start in the kitchen, but they are throughout this house now. So I'm not gonna spend too much time because I do need to get started and actually start killing the cockroaches that's what i came here to do and i have to do other jobs today so i would love to like sit down and really get into some details about this stuff with you guys but i'm going to go ahead and just show you some of the cockroaches that are in here and we can get some stuff done so headlamp flashlight so you guys can see cockroaches love hiding in spots so there is one right there and see how a cockroach is not in a hiding spot that's not normal they're almost always in a hiding spot so that just further goes to show how bad this one is so that is a baby cockroach one of its first life cycle stages notice how dark black that one is and then this one, the adult, it is a light brown color. Whenever they're first born, they're that dark black. And then as they mature, they get to be that light brown color. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in the kitchen and I'll just go ahead and get right into it. This box is fucked. All right, so it's just a box. I, I mean, who knows what was in here, but I mean, I don't even wanna lift up that, but I will lift it up to show you guys what's under it. And I can only guess as to what's gonna be under some of these things. So let's go ahead and open this side. Boom, baby. Put that back. I know what you guys like to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and just step on some of these motherfuckers. A boom, a boom, boom. Oh, there's a big boy. <laughs> so as you can see, they're absolutely everywhere. Um, they're almost always in cabinets, so I'll open some of these up. Not actually too many in there. Not too many in there either. They're always behind their refrigerator, so I'll have to check. So I'm gonna pull the fridge out, give me one second here. So yeah, there's a bunch. See all that, all those speckles? 
those black spec speckles that is a cockroach a cockroach poop and they like to be in flat areas so door frames are pretty common you can see those just chilling right there i'll show you another group that i noticed earlier i mean see they they just love that flat see all of them in there they love i'm going to spray this crack over here just to show you guys um, how we treat crack and crevice with cockroaches this is a general insecticide um, it's very good at quickly knocking down the cockroaches so here's just a quick video and then i'll basically just wrap it up after this because i need to get going here focus for you all right and then i take the can and you just fuck them off Whenever I spray a group of roaches like that, you can just hear the bodies hitting the floor. <clears throat> and it reminds me of that song. Not sure who it's by, but you just let the bodies hit the floor and the cockroaches start dying. All right, guys, so I'm just about finished up. This did turn out to be one of the worst infestations I've ever seen, especially considering no one lives here. I'm going to show you guys a couple more shots that I found before um, I get out of here just so you guys know what we're looking at. Um, on the back of most fridges, there's this card piece of cardboard. Um, I ripped that off and all that, see, it's supposed to be brown over here, but that's black. Um, that's from road shit. So this was absolutely covered. As you can see, I've sprayed it and there's not as many there. But I'm, I'm going to push the fridge back and I'm just guessing there's probably gonna be a couple hundred cockroaches run out from underneath it so i will just um push it show you guys right below it here and give it a push and see what comes out all right well that wasn't a couple hundred so uh an infestation like this i would suspect takes a couple years to get this bad um, there's no way what i can do today will get rid of all of them i would have to spend many many hours here I mean, I guess you could, um, you could use a vacuum for something like this and literally vacuum them up, but all I'm going to be doing is spraying today and then the chemical just takes time and it will get rid of the roaches. Um, I'll guess it'll take us about three sprays to really see a big difference. Um, the first spray, it's probably gonna kill about 50% of them. There's just so many. We'll be back in about two to three weeks and spray again and I'll show you guys what it looks like then.